hello youtubers and welcome back to my channel the Virginia Bushcrafter and as you know the motto of this channel is to learn and practice bushcrafting prepping and survival skills so guys I'm not going to keep you long but what I want to go over is water containment now we know about the rules of threes a person can survive three minutes without oxygen a person can survive three hours in harsh weather conditions a person can also survive three days without water and a person can survive three weeks without food but today I am going to focus on water again a person can survive three days without water however when a person is in the bush and they are setting up a shelter harvesting wood processing wood your body is going to be exerted you're going to want fluids water with Gatorade protein shake something of that nature now if you are in the bush for three days and you are not near water you're not going to feel very well starting the second day and and you and the body will only become more deteriorated the third day so yes I'm sure a person can go three days without water however I just feel it would be very very uncomfortable to go one day without water now what I want to show you is there are in addition to canteens there are other containers that you can use in an emergency and the first item I want to start with can be a survival knife now this survival knife handle has a fishing kit in it this is a fishing kit and the handle is hollow now water containment in an emergency this can suffice by simply dipping this into a stream or a creek or any running water This now has water in it. This can become your drinking water for a short period of time. You can put water in here and remain on the go. Now you may have to dip it a couple of times however it is water so if necessary you can fill this with water put the cap back on it you have your water your fishing equipment goes in your pocket that is one method of containment the next method is a pocket canteen which is more or less a sandwich bag wrapped in Gorilla Tape now this can hold water all you have to do is dip it into the creek stream river or running water and now there's water in it
Now, this can be filled as it will overflow, but now you have a container. to drink water from. So again, it goes into the, the running water, seal it back together, and you're on the move again. Not much water, but more than you had. The next method is foil paper. Foil paper has a lot of uses in the woods, but this purpose is for water containment. By simply folding your foil paper into a diamond shape and having an opening right here, you can now contain water. This now will temporarily hold water and you can just hold the handles here and drink. As you can see, there is water. So again, foil paper, water inside, and you're good to go. You may have temporary leaks, but the water is contained inside. as you can see. The next item is a dry bag. This is a 25 liter dry bag equivalent to 6.6 .6 gallons of water. You can put an awful lot of water in this dry bag. By simply dipping it into the creek, river, or stream, anything that has running water. And you can actually carry water in this. So just as an example, it is filled with water, not five, not 6.6, .6, and not 6.6 .6 gallons of water, but what I want to show you is that the dry bags can be used for water as well. You have your water, you're on your way. So guys, again, think in terms of emergency water. You have a knife with no handle. 
You can always put water in it. A pocket canteen. And foil paper. as well as your dry bag. So guys, this is just something I wanted to share with you. There are many, many things that are continuous learning in the bush. So again, water containment. A knife that has a hollow handle, a pocket canteen that is a sandwich bag wrapped in Gorilla Tape. And this Gorilla Tape can be used as tender as well. Foil paper folded in a triangle area, shape, and your dry bag. So guys, I just wanted to bring that to you. Thank you for coming and spending a few minutes with me. And I will see you on the next video. This is the Virginia Bushcrafter. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.